Good morning everyone, uh, today is Tuesday, I'm actually on my way to work, I'm on first I gotta drop off the little baby and then, uh, then I'm going to work, I'm just gonna work half a day cause I'm going to PA for an uh, event with, uh, with my Astros and the 76ers, the NBA team, so I'll be there, I will record it and uh, showing you a little bit of uh, what I do on you know days like this you know I don't have events every single day but you know when I do I like to record them so you guys can see the other side of uh, or being a barber you know that so you guys know there's more to being a barber than just cutting hair you know behind the chair you know you can do so much more achieve so much more it really just comes down to whatever you want alright guys so by the way it's, it's getting kinda cold here in, in New Jersey like I don't know if it's a uh, to wear a jacket or or to wear shorts for the simple reason that sometimes it's cold sometimes it's hot like like you know like yesterday it was like 70 degrees uh, today it's like 48 like you know it's crazy anyways so since there is like a lot of traffic for whatever reason like I don't know somebody driving like a 10 miles somebody driving like a 10 miles per hour then uh, I was gonna take the time to maybe answer some questions um, a lot of you guys send me questions on social media and um, I've been trying to like do like a Q&A like a proper Q&A but I don't know if that will be interesting or just kind of like answer questions when I do vlogs anyway so let's let's do some of those today uh, First question, uh, I usually get asked what's the best clipper to start with or what's the best uh, trimmer and really that depends. The reason why it depends is because um, depends where you are and depends on the country you're, you're in, there's not, you cannot get all the machines, you know, there's certain brands that get to certain countries, you know, so I mean usually for what I've seen, Wall is one of those companies that is everywhere. Uh, I've seen a lot of Babyliss or Babyliss or whatever it's pronounced uh, in a lot of countries as well. And this is very popular here in the US and, and Europe. And Oster, I'm not sure. I mean, it seems like not a lot of people use Oster clippers as much anymore. So, one of the things that I can tell you is that uh, walls are very good. I'm, I mean, uh, also with machines, it all depends on your, on your, you know, how much are you willing to spend, you know? Not everybody has uh, all that money to spend on clippers, you know? And in reality, you don't need to. Like I always said, you don't need to. You only need one clipper to, to cut hair and one trimmer to make the lines, to make the shape-ups, to do all that stuff, right? So my recommendation, if you are buying something, you're on a budget, and you're just starting now. I will say maybe the Wall Magic Clip. I think that's a great, great, great clipper. Uh, it's light. It's powerful. It does the job. It gets the job done. And I think that's and the price is is a great price. Okay, that's my number one pick. Um, I like the Oster Fast Feed. I mean, I use it a lot. It's just I, I just like the how the machine cuts. I don't think it's that expensive. Uh, I think it's a it's a good price for what you get. And uh, for trimmers, uh, there's two trimmers I like. Actually, there's three, but two of the main ones I like. I like the TL liner. I just like the the way that it, it just the shape of it. It's a little bigger, but it's good. I mean, I feel, I, it, I don't know. It's comfortable for me. And uh, the other one will be the the wall detailers or the wall the wall hero. I use the wall hero. I had the detailers as well. They're great clippers. You don't have to do anything to them when you get them. They already you know super sharp they'll cut really really well they'll end these a the TL liner you do have to like kind of like adjust them just so they can actually cut how they should or you can buy the blade they sell their placement blades are already kind of um, already like sharpened and already adjusted for you like zero gap another great trimmer it will be the Andy's a slim line I think it's called the core list the Li I think it's a great clipper. I think it cuts amazingly, but they break. They don't last you more than two, three months. That's why I didn't want to mention it here because honestly, it's not like the best clipper you can get for the money. Um, 
they are amazing when they work, but the quality is just not there. And they break, they, they really do. They break like, like crazy. So that will be that. I mean, for what else? For clippers, I mean, uh, Andy's makes amazing clippers, great quality as well. They're not available everywhere, but uh, I mean, if you can get your hands on Andy's Masters, it's a little, a little more expensive than the Magic Clip, but I think it's a great clipper for beginners. Uh, and that's what I started with. And I don't mean, I don't use anymore just because they are heavy, they're all metal. They're heavy. Uh, some people like that. Some people don't. I don't like heavy clippers. I prefer something light, like cordless clippers or something like uh, like um, um, like the Oscar Fast Feed. I think that's a great clipper for me. Uh, but then this is great. It's great to learn. I think it's just it's the the I wouldn't say the best one, but I think it's one of the easiest to learn. You know, to to learn how to cut hair on. So that's that for that question. Um, so yeah, Magic Clip I think is my number one choice, and my for trimmers I, I'm between the TL liner, the Andy TL liner, and the wall detailers or Hero. So I just got here, and guess what? I don't have keys. Nah, Nestor is not here either. So I mean, I just call him. He said he's gonna be here like in 15, 20 minutes. So I gotta wait for him. I did have an appointment, and um, I gotta. I had to tell him that you know. Um, to reschedule because he couldn't wait and I didn't have a way to get in. Uh, yeah, my fault, you know, it is my fault. I should have made sure that I had the keys. Usually in the mornings, um, by the time I get here, like Nestor is usually here or, or Danny, so I really never worry about it, but you know, it happens. Sometimes, you know, you, you know, they had things to do and they're not here in the morning, so when I get home, when I get here, I'm not. You know, I'm not, uh, I shouldn't, well, not an excuse, not excusing myself, to be honest with you. It's my fault for not having the keys. So I have to, um, got to wait for my next, uh, well, I got to wait for Nestor first to get here. Then I have to um, cut one client that I have, uh, two clients actually, and then I'm, I got to get my stuff and go to, go to PA. I'm a little upset because uh, my client was upset, you know, and, and, um, I proud myself for being professional and and that didn't happen today so so you know I'm I'm, I'm a little upset about that but uh, you know those are lessons to be learned I just gotta make a spare key and keep it in the car I'm done at the shop. I'm actually on my way home. I'm gonna go get go change, and then so I can go to go to Philly. I cut like two clients, and uh, no, actually three three clients. I ended up cutting. They were um, haircut with beard, and usually for haircut beard, uh, we make appointments for 45 minutes. So that was that. Um, I couldn't record them. The problem is that like a lot of my clients. Uh, they have uh, jobs that don't allow them to to be on camera much um, so you know they some of them don't like being on camera you know so it's, that's why it's a little difficult for me to to record some of them but uh but yeah that was that i got all my stuff ready uh, uh, all my machines that's the only thing that sucks when you go to events is that uh you have i mean if you don't have like a separate setup for events then you have to bring your whole station with you. 
and socks I'm packing and packing and all that stuff you know so what I'm gonna try to do is uh, create a new setup like buy everything little by little and just create a setup where um, it's all cordless and you know things like that so it makes it easier for me to to bring to events so I'm back uh, in the car I'm actually gonna go put gas and then um, I'm gonna go to the um, I'm gonna go to uh, Maestro's first and I think from Maestro's we're going to the event whatever it is uh, I'm not sure if it's at the Turn at the 76ers uh, South. place or or somewhere else so yeah that's something for me to find out I guess uh, definitely um, this is a this is a big opportunity I think for the barbers for barbering and the reason for it is because you know it's like I think it's the first company like men's grooming company working with uh, an NBA team and I mean I don't know if there's any doing it already but for what I'm you know for what I know and my knowledge this is the first one so this is a big deal it's a big deal for um, people to start seeing barbers more than just barbers you know I think we made a huge improvement in the past years and I think people are starting to respect us but uh, once they see us on the big stages like you know like the NBA and NASCAR and everything that Maestros is doing I think this is just it's just gonna benefit everybody not just the barbers working with Maestros but everyone in the barber industry and I can start seeing that you know like uh, we used, you have people achieving great things already like you know you have people like Pacino's you have people like like Chris Bossio you have people you know like exotics like Curtis uh, you have people like going around the world that you know like uh, like su success addict and uh, I mean many 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 others you know so so no this is this is great this is uh, I'm actually very pumped for the for the event here at the gas station, as you guys can see, I'm in Jersey. We actually have someone uh, putting the gas, which is pretty lazy, I guess. Any other state, like actually, you have to put your own, your own gas, but here, you know, I guess we. I mean, it's great because you create more jobs, but I think people from Jersey, when they go to other states, they don't know how to uh, put on put their own gas. But yeah, that's that. Okay, so I posted on on uh, Instagram and on Snapchat uh, for you guys to send me your questions, and I'm actually driving, so I'm trying to check the questions and and, uh, and make the video. So I already got a couple. Thank you for those who sent me the the questions. Anyways, uh, well, the first question that I got was uh, how to do a taper fade, or and the next one was how to erase the line from zero to a one. So okay, so do a taper fade, I mean, it depends because in every, I, I noticed that in different parts, a taper fade, uh, I kinda, it's different. For example, here in, uh, in Jersey, New York, tapers tend to be very small, you know, like very compact, while seeing like in Florida and other places, the tapers are very high. You know, but it, at the end of the day, it's the same principle. Obviously, if you're keeping everything like a little, um, like a little compact, everything has to be obviously you know more compact. So you gotta fade everything into like smaller guides. While you're doing uh, like a higher fade, you can you know get away with uh, with doing a little bit more of a uh, or like higher guides. Okay, but at the end of the day, it's the same thing, guys. You know, like just how you do a skin fade. Just how you do any other fade, you do a uh, taper fade. It's the same thing. There's nothing different. There's no different steps. I mean, everybody has their own technique, but at the end of the day, they're the same techniques. I noticed that people, the way people do fades, the way people do tapers, it's pretty much always kind of the same techniques, you know? Just obviously with a taper, you've got to keep everything a little more compact and more concise, but that's about, that's, that's about it. I'll try to do a, a, a haircut a tutorial explaining how to do it. The problem with it is that a lot of my clients don't get tapers anymore. Uh, for whatever reason here, like around my area, uh, people don't just don't get them anymore, you know, like before. So that's why I never done a video with it. But if I get a one that gets it, then definitely I'll make a video. Okay, the next question that I got, hold on. 
I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, I have somebody asking me that they have curly, uh, heavy, and uh, and thick hair, and they want to change it. And what can they do to change it? Well, the the last part of the question was that if they can fly or not, if that would make the hair change. And the truth is that uh, not really. I mean, your hair is the way it is because your your DNA. Uh, yeah, you can fly on your head, and it's gonna dye your hair, and it's gonna go. It's gonna be more straight. But at the end, of, when you shower, water is gonna reset your hair to the natural state. And it's gonna go back to being what it was. So the question is, not really. You cannot change your hair. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's something out there. Maybe there's a treatment that you know you can get, and they will make your hair like you know change it. Uh, forever i mean nah, that i don't know i mean you can get a perm to make it curly you can get like carotene treatment to make it straight but you know it just lasts you a couple weeks or months or whatever and then it goes back to normal so um honestly i don't think so i mean i never heard of anything that changed your hair forever you know like the texture of it and the you know but i mean if somebody knows about that then just yeah leave it in the comments below i wanna i would like to know about it okay the next question uh, was about how can they cut hair without leaving marks? I guess like the guides or lines. Well, guys, there's no magic to that. Honestly, it's just practice. Uh, you know, everybody has different steps on how to do a fade, and they're all valid. They're all great techniques. There's not one better than the other, and it's just practice. You know, the more you practice, the more you're gonna be able to see when you're leaving a line. And the more you're gonna like train your eye to see like imperfections, you know, and then you're gonna know when to go and how to approach uh, retouch. You know, if you need to retouch the, uh, the the haircut or whatever, you know, you're gonna know how to do it. But that just comes with practice, guys. You know, like uh, many of the people that you see on on Instagram and YouTube and all these places, like you know, a lot of us have been cutting for years, and you know, we did. Some people learn quicker than others, but. You know, you still gotta put in the time. You still gotta put in the practice. You know, you gotta practice and practice, and and it's gonna look bad at the beginning, and that's everybody. And but at, after after practicing so long, you know, you're gonna get it right, and it's gonna start looking better and better and better. And I think, I, I mean, I speak for myself. Like, you know, I see haircuts that I did like a year, two years ago, and my haircuts are gotten way better. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna get way better as I practice and as I. Uh, train myself and go to classes and you know uh, practice and learn more about this art you know like they will get better and that's something that you know guys we need to get to a point that we need to realize that you know everything that's great takes time it takes time to like learn like relationships and skills and many things take time you cannot just you know, think that you're gonna practice for a day and you're gonna get great at everything, you know? That's not how it works. You know, like, good things take time, guys. And, and I know everybody, we, we live in a society when people just want everything now, just because everything became like now, you know? Like, you want something, you order it on Amazon, it gets here now. You know, like, you want a date, you just go on an app and swipe right and that's it, you know what I mean? Like, I understand, you know, everybody wants everything now, but that's not how life works, you know? So just practice guys, that's the best advice I can give you, just, you know, don't look at it how you are now, look at it where you're going to be in the future, you know, like you, your haircuts are not coming out how you want, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter at the moment because you, you got to look at the big picture, where are your haircuts going to be in a year, in two years, in ten years, and that's, that's matters in life, alright guys? Okay, well, I'm going to actually stop the Q&A here just because I don't want to make this video too long either and I just I think I'm gonna do a separate uh, Q&A just a video answering some questions so just keep on sending me messages and uh, add me on 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 Instagram because uh, that's where I usually put pictures and ask you guys for for questions or ask for stuff or Twitter as well it took me like a while to get here just there was a lot of traffic a little over two hours but it was worth it What's up? How are you? Hey. Good to see you, mate. I see you. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Right. Here we go. Yep. We're gonna have you guys right over here together. Awesome. I got something for you. Uh, Let's see what you got. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
good, bro? Good, How's good. everything? Good, good, good. Everything good. Hey, man. How about you? How you doing? Good. Everything good, man. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, right. it came out so nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You did such a great job with them. Good move coming yeah. down here, brother. Yeah. You're not in the Philly Barber, but you're in Maestro. So yeah, no, no. You're part this of is great. This, this is great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, this is great. So we're here. We set up. Yeah, that's Ghost over there. What? I don't know him. <laughs> okay. What is here already? You got the You got the way. You want to check it? So yeah, we're just waiting for the kids to get here, and uh, and I think there's a, there's a couple uh, players that are gonna get here as well. So we're waiting for that, and uh, yeah, they're gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm I'm very pumped for this event. Okay, so why are we here? We're here to cut for the kids today with uh, Philadelphia 76ers and the Dunk Squad. And that's it. And that's, that's why we're here. And that's why we're here. You can edit that. What's up, brother? How are you, man? Good, bro. Good, bro. Every time I see Tom Cotts, he's uh, in better shape than he was before, which is actually an accomplishment because uh, if you look at pictures of him before, he was really, like, really, 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 like, big, and now he's in great shape, and, you know, that's inspiring for everybody. Have you guys seen all the cool videos uh, done by Maestros? I'm going to show you who's behind those cool videos. Yeah, this is the this is the kid in charge of all the videos. He's amazing at what he does. Thank you. So follow him on Instagram, all right? I mostly film stuff. Check me out. All right. What's up? What's up? You're gonna be on YouTube. Yay! What's your name? Aaron. Aaron. You say yeah. Yeah. You ready to get We're about to start the the event. Uh, you guys can see like uh, some of the uh, some of the people from the 76ers got here, some of the players, and yeah, we'll be recording some of that. But right now, I gotta get ready to cut, so I really can't be recording. So hopefully, uh, Moises, which is the guy in charge of the all the videos, he has some good footage that he can let me borrow to add to the video later as well as a B-roll. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. If you're ready, let me hear you say, I'm ready. Okay, well in that case, once again, like I said, we are the Sixers Dunk Squad, and we're happy to be here today. Today is a celebration for the kickoff for the Sixers Youth Foundation Coaching Cafe. All right? Coaching Cafe will launch this Thursday, October 5th, from 3.15 to 5.15, all right? And will occur every Thursday. And if you're interested in joining the Coaches Cafe, or the Coaching Cafe, you can please tell your teacher to register for that. Parents say, kids, get in the Coaches Cafe. You want to be involved. Don't let us leave, all right? Keyword, thanks for my intros, guys. I see you coming out looking all fresh. I see you geared up. Got the aprons, scissors. I mean, I might need a cut too. I might need a line up, you know what I'm saying? But um, once again, uh, before we begin, I always gotta do this, because right now, I don't know if you know, but you're looking at one of the number one dunk teams in the NBA, and I'm gonna show you why. So DJ goes, give us something like, I need y'all to clap your hands and put your hands together with the number one dunk team in the NBA. Give it up, we go, Sixers.
Ooh. Ooh, let's go, Gary. What you got, Gary? Ooh, I see. Look at that. All up in your face. All up in your face. Let's go, Gary. Ooh. Watch. Ooh, let's go, Alex. Oh, yeah, I almost ran out. Again, for having us out. Everybody in this thing popping. Oh, yeah, the dance floor is now ready. So if you want to groove, and you have to. So I just got here to the Maestro's Classics uh, headquarters. Um, it was like probably like a half an hour drive. It wasn't that bad. So just got here. We're gonna talk a little bit about like the, you know business, how I said, and you know the things, and then from there, um, let's go home after. And uh, let's, hey guys, let's see what uh, see what I can record there. And uh, and you know, because sometimes a lot of the stuff that we talk about, um, you know, their future businesses and future plans and projects that I'm really not allowed to discuss, like you know, to Paul again. So we'll see, we go from there. So we just finished with my haircut, I look super fresh. You know, Nino's a beast at what he does. So uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of where Nino cuts so you guys can see uh, the room where he his, where his station is. And then this is his room. It's just a private room for himself. Yeah, they have the products. And this is his station. Look at those chairs. Then he's coming back. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really get that on, on camera? Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm gonna just drive home. And I just wanna end the vlog. And um, I mean, I probably wasn't like the most entertaining vlog in the world. But I just want you guys to see the big picture of what we do in our maestros. And uh, because, you know, like we are literally changing uh, the point of view of people when it comes to barbers. So, I mean, you might not see it now, but just wait a couple of uh, years to see, you know, like what this is going to change, what it's going to bring to the to the to everybody in the barber industry. So anyway, guys, I finished the vlog with this and I'll see you guys on the next one.